When we set up a monitoring program, we need to be very clear why we're out collecting data in the first place. And that means we need to set objectives for our monitoring. Now this may seem obvious and it's like, why would you go out there if you didn't know what you were going out there for? But the more specific that we can get with our monitoring objectives, the more likely we are to get the data that we need to answer the question that we have. And so for case in point, I'm here at the Zumwalt Prairie Preserve in northeastern Oregon. This is an amazing place. It's one of the last remnants of the Hell's Canyon grassland ecosystem and uh, really in pretty great shape, phenomenal shape. Um, it's a well-managed landscape, but it does have some challenges that are creeping in. And, and this guy is one of them. I know he's kind of hard to see in the video, but this is an annual grass that's invading these systems. It's called Ventanata. And so one of our monitoring objectives may be to keep track of what's happening with Ventanata. Is it, is it changing across the landscape? Okay. Now that seems like a pretty good objective and, and it probably is a, a very laudable one, but what am I going to measure about Ventanata? Am I going to look at, at density of it? Am I going to look at cover of Ventanata? Am I going to look at frequency or just presence and absence of it? So I need to be really specific about the indicator and I need to be specific about the method that I'm going to use for monitoring this, uh, this guy here. And then I also need to be specific about what kind of uh, change that I want to be able to detect. So if I just am looking at like, oh, do I have Ventanata on the prairie? Well, I only need a handful of points to do that. But if I wanna be able to detect a 10% change in the cover of Ventanata, in individual pastures at the prairie, then I'm going to need a lot more sample points. And so your objective lays the groundwork. It lays the foundation for how you're going to set up your monitoring program. And unfortunately, a lot of people shortcut the objective part and just jump right into drawing a bunch of points and then going out and collecting data. Um, but really, it pays dividends on the end or at the end to spend time working on your objectives and making sure you have rock solid objectives because they're, the objectives is what is going to allow you to actually analyze the data and use it and to make or support a management decision at the end. So this module, we're gonna talk uh, a lot about setting monitoring objectives and the different steps in the monitoring process.